Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, I'm really sorry about all the problems we're having uh, because there's some issues in a few of our calculations. And stuff is just weird and doesn't really work like I want it to, but I'm, I'm going to fix it. You know, I just, we need to, what we need to do is we need to get the entity's global bounds and add it to the velocity of the entity multiplied by delta time. Cause that was the problem here. It's not being multiplied, multiplied, it, <laughs> multiplied by delta time. So that's why our next position is weird. Uh, so I'm just going to hold whoopsie daisy. God damn. What the shit is going on? Okay. Uh, there you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into entity and I'm just going to check this next position. So I'm multiplying it with next position here. What I could do is I could actually send in const float. I could send it and send in Delta time here. Const float reference dt. Okay. So I'm just going to copy that, put it in here. And I'm going to multiply it with dt. Getting the velocity, multiplying it with delta time, returning that new position. And then we go into tile map. And we actually need dt in update collision as well then. Um, because we need to send it in. And then we're going to go down to... Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I don't know if I said it, but all of these things, that's how this should look. And we still have these commented out. So uh, don't worry about it. Just make sure these this code looks just like this. And here, get next position bounds, and let's just send in DT. Okay, that's all you gotta do. And then game state, we just gotta send in DT into this update function. So let's run this. <clears throat> Hopefully something's gonna happen. Uh, returning to temporary value, not good at all. Don't do that. All right, so now it's multiplying with DT and we're good. It is actually moving me to the left a lot. I don't know why it's doing that. So, so weird. Shouldn't be doing it at all, <clears throat> but, but it is, um, it's setting my position. I think it's the set position that is weird. It is taking the hitbox component. Let me, let's just see what's going on. So let's go to tile map. Let's just see this position player bounds. Okay. It's setting player bounds, uh, get global bounds. It should be setting. Hmm. I think it's the entity set position. That is the problem. Um, because set position. All right. So we're setting the hitbox component position. That's what we're doing. So let's go in a hitbox component. And we're setting the hitbox component position. Set position. All right, and then minus offset X minus offset Y. We're setting the sprites position. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Uh, X, Y. Okay, that se it seems okay though. It seems all right. It seems okay. Uh, I'll do some error checking on that later. At least it works. At least it's checking the next position now, uh, which is the most important part. And then it's stopping the velocity, which is great. Top, top, left, left. Okay, seems fine. Seems fine. Now let's uncomment these other ones. And let's check the right collision. So entity. Um, uh, stop velocity X. 
and then entity stop velocity x right here as well um, entity set position because there is no velocity x when we're colliding that's the thing so I'm gonna have to check some stuff uh, but this should be just like this okay just make sure the code looks just like this this is from my SFML tutorial like I said on collision um, and just pause the video make sure the code looks exactly like this and we're gonna have some errors I know because that's the way we code we always get a bunch of errors and shit but at least at least it's working at least it's somewhat working um, okay somewhat um, I think there is a problem with the next position shit um, okay we're checking for the next position bounds and as soon as we do that we stop the velocity and then we set the position okay all right all right all right so shouldn't be a problem all right shouldn't be a problem it's still bugging out because of the velocity it seems like uh, for some reason um but yeah what happens if we just say player player bounce i think it would be the same issue Yeah, it's the same issue. Um, might be, might be that we need to do this uh, when it intersects. All right, all right. What happens if we do this outside? like this we're just testing we're just testing some stuff if this doesn't work then we'll probably keep working on it later um what happened oh 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 obviously 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 uh player bounce um because i think it's stopping the velocity here and then nothing can happen in the next one i think we're having some issues there um okay all right let's see let's see still got the same issues at least right is colliding properly here all right, at least something, some kind of collision, you know. It doesn't, just, you know, it's just kind of weird, buggy and shit. Let's just put it back to the way it was, uh, like that. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna have to check it out. I'm gonna have to see what the problem is. I think it's something with the set positions, and the, uh, uh, the wall bounds and all these bounds and shit. Pretty sure, pretty sure. We could do, is say minus height minus 1.f we could do a minus thingy here see if that helps let's just try that you know uh, with the position setting uh, and then plus 2.f might be the outline is bugging it out I'm not sure uh, minus 2.f plus 2.f try this last thing before we end the video and then I'll have everything fixed out until the next one, I promise. Or at least I, uh, you know, I will do my best. All right, see, it's still bugging. It's like the velocity is setting the position, but the velocity is not stopping, I guess, something like that. And then it's just going through. It's just flipping out. It's just going through. Uh, same thing happens from the bottom. Yeah, it just goes in too much. And it bugs out. But yeah, I'll check it out. You know what? We'll check it out.
uh, try working on it yourself, I guess. Um, <laughs> but if you if you can't fix it, it should be fixed until the next one. Uh, but yeah, there, there you go, guys and girls. Um, the series is going forward. I just want to say that uh, probably going to work a little more on the editor and some stuff soon. But uh, we got to make some changes in the tile map as well. We're going to have to add a link list for all the tiles. Uh, so we can add tiles on top of tiles. So it's going to be a little more complicated. Just get ready for that. Uh, when you understand it, it won't be that big of a deal. But it will help us to add, create maps that have several kind of things going on, right? You can have different textures on top of textures, make it look real nice. And like a real game, basically, right? So we're going to have to do that. But um, yeah, for now, that's it. We're going to work on the collision. I'm so sorry. These past videos haven't been the best quality wise and I haven't really got my shit together to be honest uh, But I will for the next one. All right. Thank you so much for watching Sorry again. Take care and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye. Bye